Hey there, welcome to my next video on how to tie the buntline, also known as a Beckett bend. Uh, this is a great termination knot used for climbing purposes. Uh, it is a very strong knot, but not a very secured knot, so it does need to be backed up with a stopper knot if used for climbing purposes. So let's get started. I've got my climber's rope here that's been installed up in the union of my tree, ready for climbing. I'm going to take the working end of my rope and we're going to secure it with that bunt line to my carabiner. I've got a nice triple action, double locking carabiner here. Uh, this is the Omega Raider. Nice cool look orange to it with some splattered black. As I do with all of my uh, termination knots, when I'm tying my knots to them, I like to have that carabiner oriented with that gate opening on the downward side so it's got easy connection to my climbing harness. So to get started with the bunt line, I'm gonna take that working end and I'm going to feed it through my carabiner. Next thing I'm going to do is I've passed this rope over to the left hand side of the standing part of my rope. I'm going to make one turn around it and the next turn I'm gonna come below it. And if I kind of orientate this and fold this up, you can see that I've kind of made a bit of a pretzel here. So we've got that figure eight look and there's gonna be a little triangle in the middle there. What I wanna do is pay attention to that triangle. So if you see this, as I come around that second time, I'm gonna wrap around and I'm gonna come through a wrapping coming through that triangle. And that's gonna make one wrap around that standing part and then coming down below and creating a second turn below the first turn, only capturing that standing part of that rope. So what we're, va uh, we're virtually making here is a clove hitch uh, on a bite uh, through that carabiner. And if you don't know how to tie the clove hitch, don't worry about it, just keep following along. So again, coming back to that pretzel, I'm gonna have that working end and it's gonna come through that triangle, pulling enough slack through, because again, we need to be mindful that we need to tie a stopper knot if we're using this for climbing purposes. And as I pull everything, nice and snug. What we're gonna have is that final product is two parallel lines with my working end coming out the middle. And on the front side, we're gonna have that X or what it is is basically a folded figure eight. And we want everything nice and tied, dressed and set. I'll take this apart and do that one more time for you. Starting back through, I have brought it through that carabiner in this case, I've come from the backside coming towards me. And now I've tossed that working end to the left side of the standing part, coming around that standing part, crossing over in front and coming all the way around. And now if we're looking at it from this angle, I'm going to pass that working end underneath or behind that figure eight capturing just that standing part of that rope again coming through that little triangle that we talked about kind of building that pretzel so again pulling everything nice and tight tie dressed and set and hopefully we've got enough tail here where i can now build that double overhand stopper knot in this case i don't quite have enough here so i'm just going to loosen off this knot bring a little bit more slack through this whole knot. Again, making sure when we do that, we're making sure everything's tied, dressed and set. And now I can tie that double overhand stopper knot, tie and dress and set that, and ensuring we always have enough tail on the end of that knot for all of our knots. And there we have it. This is our bunt line, also known as the Beckett bend. And this is in a termination knot configuration for climbing purposes, set with our double overhand stopper knot. 
Thanks for watching.